shot in the front. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, look, you laughing at a trailer. We saw the shit. We saw everything. No, no. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. The review that we are doing right now, well, it all started with what some people say is a beloved classic. Because Stanley Ipkiss is not the man he used to be. Some people say that this, if it didn't create careers, it boosted careers. I mean, it definitely gave Jim Carrey a nice boost. And some people say your girl Cameron Diaz up there pretty much made her. Yeah, Man, I remember watching this movie and that scene where she steps out of a limo. Mm -hmm. I thought the world was going to spin around. I was like, I this is the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. When she crossed her leg in that bank, I was like, I ain't never seen nothing like this <laughs> yeah, before. Yeah. I was like, what? The, that, that scene right there. Yeah. I was like, good God, who I is had, this? Shit, I had to throw water in Martin's face. Get your hand off your dick. What you doing, man? <laughs> Martin's like, make me, goddamn it. The water ain't gonna do shit. Like, yeah, you, hey, man, you enjoyed it. Yeah, good thing you threw that water. Yeah. I'm starting to fire over here. <laughs> the sequel... <laughs> the sequel actually Take a breath, is, man. The sequel is actually responsible, they say, for destroying careers. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's the movie that some say killed Jamie Kennedy. Got <laughs> Jamie Kennedy out there. Pretty S much. Son <laughs> of the mask. I have never seen this before. And I let me tell you something. I was I was so <laughs> ignorant on this movie. And some people saying if the saying ignorant is bliss has ever been truer, yeah. it is with this piece of shit right here. I knew so little about this movie. The son of the mask, I thought Jamie Kennedy was the son. <laughs> Right now, that's what you think going Everybody in. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what I thought. You know, I thought because that's like, well, the ages are kind of maybe not far enough. But I thought, okay, maybe some time has passed. Maybe this is futuristic or something. Uh, you know what? After watching this, maybe that's the idea they should go with mm -hmm. because what they have here is all over the goddamn place, people. Much like the original. Now, in the original, you had Jim Carrey, who he was a guy that loved cartoons, a shy guy that watched cartoons. And when he put on that mask, then his love of cartoons, his id, if you will, came out because he was wearing a mask that was possessed by the spirit of Loki. Mm -hmm. It made him call, oh, you know what? What better person to cause mischief than a guy that loves the Looney Tunes out there? Sure. This one right here seems to kind of try to follow something like that. You got Jamie Kennedy, who, who gives a what his character's name is? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, uh, Tim oh, Avery. It's Tim Avery because it's a te it's a take on Tex Ted Avery. Avery. Yeah. Tex oh. Avery, a famous, famous. It's kind of it's an in joke. It's based on a famous animator, Tex Avery. Uh, you've seen this stuff before. The one he did the, uh, the Wolf and Red Riding Hood, the Hot yeah, Red Riding Hood. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah some of his more famous stuff that's not one of the licenses because he he did a lot with Bugs Bunny and, and he, everybody yeah, he did a lot of stuff back in the day but right. so they did a spin on this guy why is his name a spin on a famous animator because well this guy wants to be an animator he loves the animation the wackier the better so it was perfect for this guy to get the mask you would think his wife is always coming in and cramping his childish style I want a baby you over here <laughs> fucking around you know <laughs> maybe this baby will help your ass grow up <laughs> <laughs> And that's where the son of the mask comes in. This one was hard, boy. This is a this is truly a horrible movie. Well, especially because <laughs> you being an animator and an, and a fan of animation, you see everything that's that's really really wrong with this uh, that the casual viewer might not catch. And the casual viewer is already having a bad time. People, how horrible is this movie? Well, that is what we're here to talk about. Let's go ahead. And look at this trailer. Have you seen this before? No. Let's look at this trailer for Son of the Mask. God damn you. Let's take a look at this trailer. <laughs> I know. It's I on know. HBO Max if you design it. No, don't mind. do that. Hey, don't do that. No. Don't do that. Don't, don't even tell me <laughs> shit. Next, next time no, I'm like, going to tell you anyway. Don't yeah. do that. Man, man, just in case you ever think about it. Yeah, you're going to tell me not to jump out of a window. Bust through your home. Yeah. Put that shit down. Don't worry I'm about it. I'm not cut this on. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer for Son of the Mask, and we will discuss thoroughly this film by the way not the same dog from the last movie but they're trying to get you to think that right it's not the same just dog at all Jack, yeah, what, Jack the, the first dog was was milo yeah and this yeah, one is we'll Otis. Talk, yeah we'll talk about milo. that 
Ow. And introducing Otis as Otis the dog. Buckle up. Bitch, I ain't no in- reintroducing or introducing. That dog was there in the last movie. You just trying to cash in on that fucking image from last time. Yeah. And introducing you ain't introducing shit. That's a, <laughs> if it could be the same dog, y'all would make it the same dog. It practically that, is. That, that, that other dog is dead. <laughs> yeah, I know. Might as well say introducing Ben Stein. Okay, yeah. Just get the yeah. Ball. Ben Stein's only carry over. Shut up, Ben. Yeah, man. Hey, look, you laughing at a trailer. We saw the shit. We saw everything. I know, I know. You I laughing at a trailer. I saw it twice. I saw it in the theater. Oh, damn. Oh. I didn't know you saw the theater. Yeah. Okay. Boy, I tell Early you on saw, a Saturday morning. I had to go get the bottle because I had, I'm looking at this shit again. I was like, I'm reliving a terrifying experience. I had to get through this some kind of way. <laughs> so this movie's considered a flat out bomb. It cost a hundred million dollars to make, and it actually get shows. The fuck out of here. I'll get no. It's like it cost a hundred million dollars to make, and it made fifty-four million dollars in the thing. It made half his budget back. It was a, it was lucky to make that much. Yeah. I can't believe it made that much. Exactly, and you can tell where the money is because first of all, that money's used for something they don't know what the fuck they're doing. This movie does not know what it wants to be. I'm looking at it, and I'm, but I'm looking at it like this is the mask. I'm like, what? I thought this was a goddamn Batman movie. Yeah, right. Dick Tracy. I thought this was uh, Joel Schumacher. Well, you know that that was what was popular for comic book movies at the yeah. time. Yeah, I'm looking at the mask, and I thought this shit was Gotham City when we opened up right here. I was like, you, you, this doesn't even know what it wants to be, because you've seen all this gothic shit right here. Are you talking about? I mean, really, try to give it even a Batman name. Look at this, Edge City. You know, it's like a dark superhero <laughs> opening. And after they get through that, they go into the suburbs and all bright and everything. That's the last time we hanging out in the darkness. Yeah. Like we said, they didn't get Jim Carrey back. We don't have no return of Cameron Diaz. And they said, nah, people, look at this. They actually described this. They said, uh, the, the director said, nah, man, look, look, look at this. Like, look at this like nothing. They had the nerve to go here. They said, if you wanted to see how this is compared to the first mask, look at the first mask as alien. Mm-hmm. And we... We're aliens, yeah. bitch. You don't get them. No, uh, I know. When I read that, I was like, you, you can't put that in the same sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you don't get the hell out of my face, we've made the that. Citizen Kane of mask movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck up. You don't get the fuck out of my face. You know what's face. funny? When did this come out? It came out in 2005. Because I remember the marketing didn't show any of the trailers. Really, it would just show Son of the Mask. You would just see that, and the implication was that Jim Carrey was no, going Jim, to be in it. But I mean, they, they just didn't say. Oh, they cool. just no, no, because they knew Jim Carrey wasn't there, so they yeah. they knew they didn't have Jim Carrey. They didn't Live have fine ass, yeah, fine, they didn't have uh, fine ass Cameron Diaz in there. And, but you know what? That's fine. That's cool if you if you want to do something different. Yeah. But don't don't come up here bringing somebody up that don't nobody care about. Because they said, you know what? We ain't got Jim Carrey. We ain't got old fine ass Cameron Diaz. Oh, but look who's back. And my personal favorite. <laughs> The Hall of Norse Mythology. Ben Stein! Man, don't right. nobody give a fuck about no, no Ben Stein! I, I, forgot, I forgot Ben Stein was in the first one until you just yeah, told me just now. I, I, forgot, yeah. I forgot too. I forgot he was in the first one. I was like, they, they introduced that shit like but they, they were proud of that. He spun, dramatic lighting, lightning Zoom in the background. In. Right. Yeah. And that's the problem in this movie from the start. It misses the point and it misses the rules set up by the first film. Now, this does follow the setup kind of like the first film and that the mask now this okay so this time I guess this is their way of abbing it up mm-hmm. because this time not you know in the last movie we heard that Norse legend mythology tells us that this mask is possessed by the spirit of Loki Loki I don't think he ever showed up right no oh no. Man, that's what no, he no. said that, oh that's what we're gonna do things different here and this one shit like, Loki actually shows up and the thing is with this, they say any <laughs> Michael Jackson video, yeah, like the shadow. <laughs> and shit. They say anyone who puts on the mask, courtesy of Ben Stein telling us this, anyone who puts on this mask, they get also possessed or they gain the powers of Loki. And Loki's ultimate tool of mischief was this: the mask, which he created and tossed down to Earth thousands of years ago to create mayhem among the mortals for. According to legend, like nigga, get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> See it right here. The shadow knows. <laughs> right. Push that brother out the way. Move, motherfucker. Yeah. The wearer of the mask is imbued with the powers of Loki himself. Now, okay, look, I can 
nitpick here. I can say, why would a guy want to give anybody else their powers? I, no, no, that that is a very Loki thing. Like, I'm going to send this down here and just watch and see mayhem. what happens. Yeah, watch, watch I would always you. think, like, you take the risk of if you give people equal power, powers, they can, like, use that against you. But we all know that Loki ain't the smartest one out there and whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not, you know, okay, whatever. I'm not going to complain about that. He's got a mischief, right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you don't even know what the hell he's doing. So, you know, fine. Thing is, Loki's here. All right, you up the game. The god is actually amongst us. Cool. But also, when he arrives, that's when things get stupid. It was almost like immediately once he stepped on the scene, things got done. Because <laughs> who knew? Who knew that the Looney Tunes got everything that they know from Norse mythology? I know. <laughs> Because you look at this, that is what is going on with, Lo- with Loki. Loki ain't just got the power of mischief. Loki got the power of Looney Tunes. Hold up, right there! Thanks for dropping by. Dropping? Bye. <laughs> so that, that tells you right off the bat what kind of movie this is. This movie is meant for little kids. He ripped off Ben's yeah. face. Yeah. yeah. And I'm okay. looking at this and I'm like, yeah, people, who knew that... <laughs> Who knew that Warner Brothers studied Norse mythology to, to get all their gags for the yeah. Looney Tunes? Damn, Loki, where were you in Space Jam, man? <laughs> they did you dirty, man. Listen, the reason why Jim Carrey acted like a cartoon in the first movie is because, as I mentioned before, he was a man. He was a shy person who was afraid to let himself go, and he... He lost himself in cartoons. Yeah, he loved cartoons. it's a it's yeah. a spin on the Nutty Professor. It is no, it's completely a spin on the Nutty Professor. He is a guy that you know once he gets a potion or a magical mask, he's able to let uh, his id, his true personality, mm-hmm. show. <laughs> Look out! You know. Like yeah, when other people had the cocaine mask on. is a hell of a drug. No, <laughs> 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 nah, man, like like you were saying, like Nutty Professor is the guy that was able to, you know, he was a, he was the the shy underdog that was able to let himself go. Here, everyone is a cartoon. Now they try to set it up in the beginning with Jamie Kennedy, like he's an animator. Okay, so we're kind of following the same lines. Apparently the apparently the the the, the mask has a certain uh, a checklist of people that it needs to find. <laughs> Every motherfucker needs to love cartoons and he also have to, they also have to own a Jack Terrier, uh, a Jack Russell Jack Terrier. Russell, yeah. Initially, he's not the problem. Uh, and, and, and you think it's gonna be because his, the first line, the first line out of his mouth is delivered poorly. It's delivered terribly, and it's not even delivered from his mouth. It's dubbed over when you first hear it. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. That was flat out embarrassing. After seeing those kids, Drano sounds like a good option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Who, who the fuck? Who, who dubbed who that over? Dubbed that. That was awesome. Sounds who, like a who, good option. Who dubbed that over? Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who dubbed that over? I mean, who are all these people? D- D- Drano sounds like a good, good option. option. Drano, yeah, Drano. That sounds like a good option. What is this Drano? And then, and the way it's shot, that with the phone up and it's yeah. just eyes. In his yeah. eyes, he's overacting yeah, with his yeah. eyes. Just... I do think a lot of people unfairly blame him for being the problem of this movie, and he's not. Well, I, I think a big problem he brings to it is that Jim Carrey, whether you find him goofy or not, you can't deny he brings a certain charisma to what he does. Sure. There's a commitment to it, and you appreciate that. And even if you don't like him, on some level, you respect that. And with Jamie Kennedy, that's not there. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. Yeah, he's part, and, and and listen, he needs he needs an ass whooping for what he did in this. But he's not the main problem. <laughs> he's not. He's not the main. And I'm saying it. He needs somebody to kick him in his ass. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm not being this to just be mean and vicious. Somebody need to kick him in his ass. Right in his ass, huh? At a certain, right in his crack. At a certain point. And I'm saying this as somebody who was on his side. You know, early on, it wasn't him that was getting on my nerves. It was his goddamn wife that was bothering me. His wife is. She got man. She got a temperature of 200 with baby fever. She would not leave his ass alone. Everything he got to say, she 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 got to uh, force a baby in there. Honey, just think. Yeah. If you have a baby, you'll have someone you can play video games with. 
Now, I know... Because I, 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 I ain't going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, I was looking at this and I was saying, you know what? My first question was, and it was a little mean, my first question was, who wants to have a baby with this goofy motherfucker up here? Who's a fish? Who's a fish? The turkey. <laughs> and I was saying, do you really want your baby going through this? Because that's what he's going to do to that infant. But see, okay, I looked at this and I was like, I, I get it. There's a couple, a lot of couples go through this where they haven't worked out the do we want a baby or not. And it sometimes leads to breaking up. Yeah. But, but it's always that, that, that tension of, listen, I love you and I really want this and I need you to be on board with it. And as much as I'm rooting for him for things to happen, it's like, motherfucker, you're kind of a loser. <laughs> and I don't know if you're ever going to get this thing you, you want to get. I want to move forward with my life. I was saying, you know what? If you want, <laughs> if you want a baby, open the passenger side and kick this motherfucker out right now and <laughs> keep driving. Who's the fish? Who's the fish? Because I was like, who? Why do? This, this, what he's doing right now? Do you really want to put your child through this? And you then really I want him impregnated. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, then I had to realize who my wife is married to. <laughs> I was like, well, shit. All right. Because you know, yeah. that's the shit I'm on exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you know what? Okay. Man, stop talking. So, so you you saved me from having to say anything. Yeah, I said, all right, you know what, man? And again, I, that's the reason why I had to relate to him. I said, all right, brother, I get you. <laughs> I got it. You know what I'm saying? My problem is with her timing and asking about it. Because, you know, listen, there are times when this dude, you get, listen, if, you, if this guy's kind of pushing back on you about a baby, then you got to be tight with that shit and you True. gotta learn when to bring that shit up <clears throat> my man is trying to confide in her he ain't talking about a baby he's sitting up here talking about his job and what he wants to do for the family and somehow she manages to shove that baby into the conversation I get it okay you want your own child but I also really <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I thought she was being nice. <laughs> I, I, I thought she because she really does want a baby. It's it's it, their, their family. She he has desires. She's got desires. The thing is, her thing can happen. She was being nice. She was like, because because I know you want your own show and you're really good. Because because yeah. prior to that, it was set up that he's been trying for ten years. Oh shit! And, and all he does, he ain't even animated at that company. He's just somebody who wears the costume. He's a mascot. Oh there. yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, you ain't, okay, you ain't say all that. Yeah. Because no, no. I'm surprised she's <laughs> like. I, and I, I want you to have this, but it don't look like it's going to happen. Well, she, you know what? What I got to say is she fucking married him. He's trying to actually say, I'm moving up. I'm trying. I'm trying. To, baby, listen, just listen to him for one night. Just cut the baby shit. Just listen to him for one night. I'm, I just want to tell you, I'm feeling a little insecure about this, but I'm trying. I want you to believe in me. Oh, that's cool. You're going to have this. But the baby, you know what? Fuck you here. Shit, here's a couple of Look, don't make a goddamn baby. Here, don't get here. Fuck, don't get a fucking baby here. You throwing it on her? Yeah, this is yeah. Shit, scrape it off of you. <laughs> Billy, Billy. <laughs> Go get a goddamn baby then. I don't care. All right, all right. I ain't getting through to you. Billy, how do you, how would you feel if I told you that she's the head of marketing in her department? She makes twice as much money as him. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did right. I say, <laughs> did I say marry somebody on your fucking level then? Okay. And, and here's, uh, man, Billy, let me say you on this, brother. Oh, Billy, oh, no, no, Billy. Let me, no, no, no. You listen to this man. Let me, let me say right, you on right. something. Because here's, here's the coup de grace. Right here. When I say when I say timing, I'm saying look. Okay, I'll even let all this other shit slide. I'll, I'll give it to Martin on all these other things right here. She's ahead of Martin. Right? She's ahead of Martin. Marry right. somebody on fucking level up. You want that kind but of shit? They probably shit. got married when they were at the same level, and she just rose up and he well, stayed then, down here. Then, then, but then, she still loved him. Okay, okay then, go to your then point, leave though. his your... ass alone. No, then. No, 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 but go back to your point. Love she said him. Timing. Love him for him. But the point is, okay. when I say timing, the thing is, what you do is. She's asking him on the day three hours earlier. Let me rewind the clock for you. Three hours earlier, my man had to go through this. He's going to be a genius. Good poop, Clancy. Swack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anybody? Ridiculous. Why would anybody want a kid after that? Why would anybody want a kid after going through this 
just said. <laughs> you should have knocked that motherfucker out the way. You saw that coming. You saw that coming a mile away. Time coming. She just stuck his fist out. Yeah, yeah. That kid was. He should have robbed Danny Jr. The kid like he should. Just close line that motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Put his arms arms up. But I'm sorry. Yes, that's a terrible thing to go through and make you not want to have kids. But at the same time, he should have seen that coming all the way. Number well, one. Well, the thing is, the kids shouldn't have been. None of the kids have been acting crazy. This motherfucker, he, you know, he just got through looking at they bragging about baby shit. Just got head butter in the nuts. You That's know, somebody you got, else's kids. Though. And, and, but yeah, exactly. Like, but he's looking at these kids and just kind of like, well, I don't want to go through this shit. And y'all all, all, all y'all excited about this? Talking about these dumbass kids are geniuses. You got to give somebody at least twenty four hours to let at least let the nuts heal after that. <laughs> nuts heal. You know, give somebody twenty four hours after that. You might not be able to have them. And shit. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> chat just said the ultimate birth control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably shit. paid that kid to go here. Yeah, yeah. Run as hard as you can right in my nuts. Shit. Captain Underdraws is just your ass yeah, yeah, yeah. Underdraws. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say that Jamie Kennedy is the main problem with this movie, but I'm going to say if you didn't like him in those parts without the mask, you're going to hate his ass when he puts the mask on. And you're saying, of course, because... He's loud, he's hyper, he's all over the place. Jim Carrey made it work, but Jamie Kennedy hyped up like that. No, nah, man, I can't I can't get with that. <laughs> I wish he was. Right? He was so low key. He's got on this Robbie Rotten makeup. Yeah. And the best he can do is a, is a tired impression of, of Vanilla Ice. Man, yeah, that, 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 that makeup is so creepy. When he time. puts that mask on, people, where Jim Carrey put that mask on and he was... <laughs> And he put on a performance, like he did. He probably didn't even need the makeup. He didn't. As a matter of fact, I saw some some of the tests they did where they were gonna add the mask and you know in post and just watch them. Like shit, they didn't even need to do they that. They even do that. He is the antithesis of Jim Carrey. This fool puts on the mask and he looks bored as hell. Oh, fuck's sake. Don't you just love Halloween? People, this is a living. Ow. He sounds tired as fuck. Yeah. People, this is this is the living cartoon. We talking about a man with a, a green face, orange hair, who can stretch and bounce all over the place, and he looks stiff as. F- you know, it, it looks like he's trying not to crack the makeup yeah. or something. Yeah, That's it what does. it looks like. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's, oh, yeah, he's like, like when he was like, okay, so I do this, like, oh, oh, oh don't no, do no, that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like, no, it reminds me of my mom painting my face for for Frankenstein, and I was like, yeah, he's man, yeah. Billy, you <laughs> you hit it. Yeah. It looks like he, yeah. it looks like he's limited by the makeup because yeah. if, if he reacts too hard, it's gonna. Fall apart. Right. All that, that shit. The process ba- barely, barely moves. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't just love oh, Halloween. Doing his Bing Crosby impression and mm. Bing, yeah, Bing, whatever. Bing, Bing Crosby. Mixed with W.C. Fields yeah. almost. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, no, yeah. Love, I mean, I guess. Oh, shit. Just trying to be a, 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 a generic MC. This dude is stretching all over the place and he's, he's still. People, we saw him enhanced. Enhanced with CG effects. And this fool is still stiff. Yeah. I'm and like, creepy what? looking too. Well, also you see that that foot stretch. So apparently these guys they got a hold of some program like Elastic Reality and just went, "This is going to solve everything." And they just <laughs> you use it over and over. They huh? over they overuse that shit. Oh man, it's going to solve everything. You all right? <laughs> you don't, don't ruin your equipment. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's gonna solve everything. I got the I got the medicine, baby. <laughs> you okay? <Yeah. laughs> this fool said they found a program called and what, Elastic, Elastic, Elastic Reality. Elastic yeah. Reality. Yeah. Whoa, this is the future. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but how about we go shut, shut the fuck up? Yeah. I got this shit. Yeah. Look at that leg, man. Yeah. Shit, it's here. We can do this the rest of the movie. Shit. <laughs> The year 2000 is here. year 2000. My nephew's got a program. He can do anything we need. Pla- plastic uh, reality? Uh, elastic reality. Elastic reality. Real? I've yeah. never heard of that. Oh, yeah, thing? yeah. No, back in 95, I used to use that. <laughs> don't do it. Animation on CD ROM sometimes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Funny thing is, they use this program, Elastic Reality. And they use that. They use, apparently, like Martin, they use a the fuck at that program, man. And even when this dude is doing all the wacky Looney Tunes stuff, he's still... It's still not that special. He's... He, no, it's not that special. He's, he's still stiff, man. He's, he's He still feels restrained or limited by the makeup mm-hmm. or his acting inability. Where did the wife put that invitation? My bad. He's not plus by that, by the way. Maybe I left in my other pants. 
<laughs> the whole no, no, time. No, 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 he looked like he just could care less. It's, it's and that also, was a lot for just a lame little pun. It was, oh, it was. Right, but also, like, in the first mask, whenever he would do stuff, like, people would go, whoa, what is that? Yeah. He pulls a... ID, not IV. Mm-hmm. Well, you know Nobody what? ever saw him pull a fucking <laughs> IV out of yeah. his goddamn coat. They just go with it. You know, I would, yeah. tell you, I would say this. Maybe, and it could be again, I'm not going to sit up here and blame Jamie, Jamie Kennedy for it because, for one, mm-hmm. you're right, he's probably limited by the makeup. Like, the makeup <laughs> is just heavy and weighing his face down. Mm-hmm. The you other thing move, is, yeah. is that they're not giving him a chance to, to act. So I, let me let me retract. I'm gonna take a lot of this shit off of Jamie Kennedy because if you look at this, it's dubbed over. Right. Like they like they almost told him oh, just like, yeah. hey, act like you're looking for something. Jim Carrey was given a chance to like really sink into that character mm-hmm. and, and speak and speak. Yeah. If you look at this, they just dubbing his lines over. Where did the wife put that invitation? Oh yeah, yeah you know, yeah, he they, mouth they, not they're not. Let me let me change this. I, I'm not gonna blame Jamie Kennedy with this as much, man, because they, they're not giving him any direction, man. Unless. They got it in the editing room and went, this voice, we cannot do this. Oh, that doesn't even sound like his voice. Is yeah. that, is no, that I, don't, his? I don't think it is. It, it doesn't sound either. like him at it all. Could, I mean, he, he's, he's, he's able to do other voices, I, but it may, be, it may be that he did something, and they got in the editing room, mm-hmm. and this happens. Yeah. Films, and then they go, his agent calls us, Jamie, you got to go back and redo, redo all those lines in the room. You know, so. he, 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 Jim Carrey carried the effects. Sure. So this ain't no Cuban yeah. Pete, huh? No, oh, no, oh, <laughs> oh, no. Here, they gave this to Jim, Jamie Kennedy. And like I said, I'm not going to completely Jamie, uh, blame Jamie Kennedy, but the effects, they're doing all the work to carry his tired ass. And I'm, and like I said, I'm saying the character's tired. Because, look, no matter how lively the effects get, no matter how crazy they get, he's, he continues to, to look confused or drunk. This is the part where you forget. This is the part where you get. Honey, I'm home. It's like, Jesus, Dang. even, and people, I had to, I had to freeze frame. It. I was like, even through, <laughs> I the, mean, you could care a little bit. You could just a little bit. Like nobody's gonna even see, you couldn't you can open your eyes a little bit for this. But it could be the director saying like this. We just, all you need is a still shot. Exactly, exactly. That's what I was saying. Just stand here for what? Just don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I told you don't talk too much. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, mm, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not blaming him. Not blaming him. Listen, the director, the movie made him a terrible mask as a character. Cause that's the character's name, the mask. He's a terrible the mask. And he has sex with his wife. <laughs> With the mask on? With the yeah. mask on, yeah. For fuck's sake. And I have to Wait, say. Did he rape her with the mask no, on? No, 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 no. No, she's goes, into it. No, she's in. She's like, oh. Because I mean, look, he's, he's coming on late at night. Yeah. The lights aren't coming on. Because she even said, when when you come back home, let me know. Yeah. Because yeah, we can talk about it. Before, before but, he left. But my man gets here. <laughs> I know. And when he gets home, he has sex with the wife. I guess <laughs> he, he bust off. Yeah. Why, you know why he's up in there. Yeah, and, and even his sperms. That's the funny thing about it. We talk about how the, it's the, the director's fault here, and and I don't know who to lay blame on. All I know is that your main character is the worst, the mask in the movie. Everybody else, maybe they're not, maybe they're not good, but every everybody and everything else looks like they're trying. His sperm is a better the mask than he is. What the fuck? <laughs> what? And listen, what I know, the fuck? and people yeah, even. Yeah, I'm happening. sorry, it was a kids movie up yeah. to that point. Oh my god! Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. This ain't no kids movie. I just say nothing. I was like, but get to it. And by the way, that ain't nothing but a rip off of Slimer. Right. But you know what? At least, at least they're trying. At least, at least they, at least they emote. Mm-hmm. When they put when they're green and they supposedly have the power of the mask, they're doing something other than hey, I'm gonna go. Impregnate that egg, and fertilize that egg, homie. You know, no, you know, they're doing something. That's when the movie comes in and says, "You know what?" And talking to Jamie Kennedy, you ain't gonna do nothing with that mask and take the shit off. Yeah, it, it did seem like that. <laughs> take the motherfucker off, man. We'll, we'll give it to the dog because yeah. you ain't doing yeah. that yeah. shit. Because everybody right now is making a better the mask than you are. Shit, that baby, he he ain't even got the mask. He just got that mask sperm, and he looks like in the womb. Mm-hmm. In the womb, that baby, like he's putting mm-hmm. in more work than you. <laughs> Yeah, people. Oh, but Jesus you know, so Christ. but but yeah. But at least, okay, at least he's trying. Yeah. Tell me, there's not a sex scene with the mask on, is there? Well, there was earlier, but you didn't see it. Okay, you, you didn't don't know, see no, it though. No. Yeah, right, yeah, right. it's not explicit. No. Okay. I'm <laughs> just making sure. But I can also tell you that when that baby comes in, 
that's when the movie gets way Great. more annoying. That's yeah, why yeah. I see yeah, annoying is the word. It's like, are you annoyed yet? Uh, kinda. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, we got wait. something for you. Oh, uh, just you wait. Shit, you annoyed by the by, by daddy mask? Oh, shit, wait till you wait for the son of the mask. Cause that's for one thing. That's when elastic reality <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and bad CG and crazy CG. That's when the movie just says, "Fuck it, we don't even depend on these. We're not gonna depend on these actors to carry the no. movie." Special effects, lame special effects is gonna carry this film. You know the other thing that carries this film is the Warner Brothers catalog of cartoons. Oh yeah. Cause I'd say, what, about a fifth of this movie is just them replaying old cartoons. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just either the <laughs> cartoons are just, are just gags from the cartoons. You know, that, that, and unfortunately that's one of the most original things that they do in there. <laughs> the, 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 and also, might I say, that's when the movie completely fucking runs out of ideas because as to what Martin is saying, at this point, they don't even try to tell their own story. Mm-mm. They go and they start watching Looney Tunes cartoons, man, and they just, the, the, the baby, the baby sits in there and just starts watching the classic. Uh, uh, the, the, like, if you're going to rip off some, maybe, one, maybe try to rip off some things that maybe people don't recognize, yeah. but they rip off straight up classics. Well, they, they sit there and you watch the baby watch the entire episode. Well, cartoon. yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah, no, hold on. I'm about to show <laughs> This baby sat up here and watched. And if and look, maybe like I said, maybe it's just us. Maybe maybe we nitpicking a little bit more than the average person. But they got a classic cartoon out there called One Froggy Evening. Mm-hmm. And this baby sits up here and watches that. Now you might have noticed something right there, but I will elaborate. Because probably some of you are thinking, like, at this point, well, you know, they're just going to look at this for a few seconds. Yeah, I'm thinking that. <laughs> and they're going to, yeah, and the, the kid will be inspired by this cartoon, and sure. then the movie will take this idea and do their own take with it. Man, they watch almost the whole oh, God, cartoon. Just, all the way to the end. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all the way. They give away spoilers in this, boy. Oh, and so you think they cut, it's like, oh, shit, oh, yeah. what's the baby going to do now? Watch some more of this goddamn cartoon. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> There's sort of the agency and shit! Like, what the, like the, 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 well, that's not the whole cartoon, Corey. <laughs> they just keep going. They just keep going. And unlike the movie, I'm not gonna even show you the end, but they played they, that they shit played right all to, the end. to the end. Like they like they said we just at this point we just fill in time. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> shit, it might as well be like been syndication going on right there. I mean the baby spends less time mocking the car or trying to imitate the cartoon than he does watching it. Yeah. And it's not enough to to almost show the whole cartoon of this far superior original. Mm-hmm. They come in, they say, no, nah, let's 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 rip it off and show you our, you know, our full shitty version of it. <laughs> <laughs> they completely rip it off, shamelessly rip it off. Like they just showed us the whole cartoon. Uh-huh. And they said they showed us like, hey look how much we don't give a fuck right here. <laughs> And tell me I'm your own. <laughs> and let's just throw Woody Woodpecker. You know, since we rip it off everybody, yeah. why not? Woody hard. Woodpecker ain't got nothing to do with this in LA, but hey, since we since we <laughs> since we jacking people, yeah. so let's just go and take this bird too right yeah, here. Yeah, Woody, you ain't too good. Get over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess he's texting every Stupid time. ass. The, the the ripoff of the dog from the original, Otis. Right here, and that's Milo right there. Milo, that's Milo in, in his original form, and that's Milo with the mask on. This movie has a version of of this because, like I said, apparently the mask can only go to somebody who owns a Jack Russell Terrier. Mm-hmm. Right. And so we got this dog in this one. And by the way, this dog is named Otis because it is a takeoff on Milo, Milo and right, Otis. Right. <laughs> but there's, there's another movie that nobody's gonna know. <laughs> but this dog is this, while the baby's trying to rip off one froggy evening with the frog over there. Otis is is thinking, how can I rip off Wile E. Coyote and Mudley? Yeah, at the same time, and that's exactly what he does, man. Yeah, the and baby only, wants to drive the dad crazy. The dog wants to kill the baby. The dog wants to kill the baby. The only thing with this is that you know with. With with this ripoff right here, and by the way, the dog is in there because they needed the same sight gag from the original, mm-hmm. which what? is the, which is the dog turning into the, the character mask. with the mask. Yeah, so that that was such a popular sight gag 
they they said we got to put it in here even if it's like does it, if it feels forced it doesn't make any sense right in the original one they don't overuse it though it's just long enough in the original uh, but this is not yeah. the original I know but I'm just I know because I mean obviously they overuse it because the trailer tells you that no that's the thing Billy you hit it man they oh they so overused it they they would you cut back to you like oh we still doing this yeah. You know, in the in the first movie, it was a couple of minutes. Right. In the first movie, you you, you, you can get scared because you were enjoying it. You're like, oh, don't fuck it up by having this dog. Do- oh, the, they're done. The oh, thing, great. Yeah, the thing okay. here is that they they stretch it out to to almost 10 minutes. Oh, this. my God, They dude. stretch that that's gag a, that's out to a, almost that's, 10 minutes, and, that, and that's, that's what ages. they say. They say, we don't have, this dog has nothing. So what do we have to do? We have to rip off mm. Wile E. Coyote and Muttley. Muttley. But that is fucking oh, terrifying. It's very hard. That is that but, that baby pretty much spider walk like that yeah. girl in the Exorcist. Well, well, also, go ahead. Well, that that whole something blows up in your face and you turn black. It's about eighteen of those gags. Oh in yeah, this movie. no, it's it's a lot of that in there, man. Oh, and Jesus the Christ. shit. The shit keeps on trucking, boy. They right down to the Acme jokes, man. You know, setting up the Rube Goldberg machines and the elaborate traps like the coyote did. Even the climax of the movie. Like they keep going. Like they they like you said, Martin, they go in and they mine all of the classic cartoons, like the the masterpieces. Uh I don't know how many people know this cartoon, Duck and Muck. Uh I meant oh, to yeah. put up a clip. It's an animated cartoon. And that in animated cartoons they have scenery. And in all the years I... All right, wise guy, where am I? Daffy's getting uh, uh, he's getting messed with by the animator. Like he comes onto a like white screen, and the animator is keeps erasing him and drawing him in different yeah. ways. And they're like, "Well, shit, you know, we been we went this far. <laughs> sure, Ain't nothing sacred. Let's Great go episode. for that too." Stand off to my little friend. Of course, Scarface. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. of course, of course. Of course. It's like, can you erase the whole movie while you had it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, keep yeah, going, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Of course, we had to erase that joke, but let's just go ahead and keep going. Erase the whole film. You know, sad thing is with this is that I'm I'm criticizing them for for ripping off all these classic cartoons, but it gets to a point where you, you really want them to go back because you when they when they're not ripping something off. You see just how bad their ideas mm-hmm. are, how lame their ideas how, are. How unimaginative how they unimaginative. are. How unimaginative. Because when they ain't got nothing to go by, you know, things that actually take a little bit of cleverness and thought, then that's when they resort to bathroom humor, you know, things like fart, shitting, and piss. The only, time this, <laughs> the only time that worked was in the Three Stooges movie. <laughs> yeah. Where it was funny. But, you know, this yeah. is... Uh, you got five dicks pissing at once, <laughs> and why is he even trying to catch it at this point? Yeah, would you Fuck be rushing it. a baby to the hospital? Right, yeah, well, well, not even, well, we're not even that. You, you already yeah. covered in piss. You're drinking it. Oh, what's his name playing Loki? Uh, uh, Alan, Alan Cumming. Cumming. Alan Cumming. When you know, whenever Alan Cumming is not walking onto the screen with a different costume on, would you like some thin chocolate? You know that oh. that's a it, that, those costume changes happen every ten minutes with him. When he's not doing that, he's pulling out a out of his ass. He's pulling out a big ass rubbery weapon, like a big ass axe or something, or, or a tool with the uh, guns attached to it. Which is like okay, so even then, it's like I thought the whole thing was to like fit somebody's personality. I didn't think so. Does Loki love? I mean, it'd be nice if you explain that Loki loves Bugs Bunny too and shit. Or either he was the inspiration for those. Oh, the inspiration right. for those things. Yeah, exactly. But they don't do that. He's just pulling these things out his ass. Maybe this will jog your memory. Or uh, what he does a lot, and the movie does a lot. He's pulling out, including uh, visual Acme cartoon gags. He's also pulling out big rubbery bombs every fucking twenty minutes. Listen, I know, I know actors. I know they have to work. I, we always say that. I respect that. But at this point, y'all are just embarrassing yourselves. <laughs> and like we said, they're just running gags in here. Listen, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm winding down. Because by the time well, we get to like the what's that? Well, I, I, I was something early. I was just like, I might be considered a nitpick. But how, how'd you like the way they portrayed a, an animation studio? 
<laughs> it was like the way they used to portray re- re- uh, newspaper reporters back in the 70s where they'd have these these lush New York apartments. you oh. like, you a goddamn liar. <laughs> okay. <In> this animation studio. <laughs> this like, animation studio is <laughs> fucking ridiculous. First of all, yeah, they make it look like it's fucking Disneyland or uh-huh. something. But the other thing with this is that... Google Office. Well, okay. Like, so, pretty much. Well, here's the thing, man. It's no, it's 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 pretty cool in movie world, but people, as an animator and Martin working in animation, I can tell you. And anytime you work in any kind of industry close to this, you don't work in a in an environment where there's a motherfucker walking around in a turtle costume. You don't. You don't walk around with that shit. <laughs> hey, boys and girls, I'm Torpedo Tortoise. In the these animators are you get your ass away from me right. are, you taking, are you taking these goddamn kids through it yeah. yeah I'm trying to work, trying to work. Yeah. Yeah. now I know they did something like this at Epcot so I'll, I'll let it slide you know because I went to Epcot and they, they put animators in cages like yeah, yeah sure yeah, they, yeah behind glass yeah. like you're at the zoo so maybe this is some you know revolutionary studio here where animators can <laughs> and can work they got those fools working right out in the open too this giant turtle walking around but people this is where I, okay I'm tired at this point, I'm I'm tired of this shit. I'm 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 done with it. By the time uh, Otis bit Loki in the dick, and we've seen our fiftieth eye bugging joke. Ah! And by the by, and, and after that, by the time we got to, <laughs> you were slow. Like, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> when, when and, and especially when Jamie Kennedy put that mask back on and got into the Billy Mobile over here. Honey, I think it's time we <laughs> the Billy it up. Mobile. <laughs> Got your teeth. <laughs> man, fuck y'all, man. <laughs> man. His teeth all over that car. <laughs> car smiling like Bill. <laughs> when he got to that part, just for him to drive. Just let me, just to, let me sit on the molar. I'll yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just for him to. Just for him, and people. This is where I finally said, you know, we went through all this shit. The fucking teeth mobile and him uh, turning back into the mask just to drive to a lame ass joke where he is. His final confrontation with Loki is in a boxing ring, which came out of nowhere. And in that boxing <laughs> ring, that the whole thing was just there for him to do a fart joke. Yep. Well, shoot like a grasshopper and stink like a skunk. I'm like, I'm out. This, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm out. This mother, I'm, I'm out. This motherfucker, man. Come I'm on. done. Did, did, didn't you have some appreciation for the fact they went through that whole movie and didn't have a fart joke until almost the they very end? They did have a fart joke. They had two of them. Which ones? The baby sat there and farted when he looked at him, and then they had something else. Oh, I remember yeah, the, the baby because the baby farted loud, and James getting like, God damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Stink for yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> I was dying. Yeah, I'm like, people, look at this shit. <laughs> look, you know, one more time. I said, I'm, I'm finished. You can have this shit. <laughs> well, shoot like a grasshopper and stink like a skunk. <laughs> I'm out of this bitch. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm finished. He's like, oh, 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 oh. He's like, 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 oh, oh, oh. He's so what'd you think, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't not giving him that name. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing that to mess with me. So no, that- of course, of course, the movie's some bullshit. Like, like you said, that there's no imagination here, and the fact that it's the same director who was like, a, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say the same director. Is like what? No, yeah. cats and dogs. Guy directed yeah. cats and dogs. But the, the, but that whole well, this is aliens to alien. You're like, <laughs> you. who said that? Who said that? The, the director? director? Yeah. This is for your own good. This is a fuck you. Yeah. And plus, it's it's a it seemed to be just a typical thing for people to want to go. Remember Looney Tunes? Huh? Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah. And like yeah, uh, you're just doing the same gags we've seen, <laughs> and your timing is all wrong. Which is those everything they did work because they were ta- the, the, the timing was was yep. impeccable and original. Yeah, and it, it just makes you go like, wow, I didn't realize just how special those cartoons were that nobody could ever repeat that formula again. I mean, if you're not going to understand what made the original so popular, don't don't even try because you bent all the rules. You broke every rule of what made that one so successful. Mm-hmm.